It is possible to tell if someone is gonna make a shot just by looking at how they're lined up in the hack. So today on Curl Up With Jamie, we're going to be going over some keys on how to line up with the broom properly. So first things first, you clean your rock and then you line up. If you do this in reverse, then it's just not gonna work. So you've cleaned your rock and then you stand up to receive the call from the skip at the other end. Once your skip puts down the broom, then you wanna draw an invisible line from the skip's broom all the way down to your foot in the hack. And then during the delivery, you want your entire body and the rock to be following that line. Once you've acknowledged the call from the skip, then you wanna step into the hack from behind. This way you are starting with your sliding foot on that line of delivery and pointing towards the target. Next, you wanna bring that sliding foot forward to that heel to toe position. Now the sliding foot should also be parallel to that same line and pointing towards the target. Now it's time to crouch down into the hack. Now when you're crouching down, it's really important to keep everything nice and square towards the broom. This means your shoulders, your hips, your knees, everything. If your knees are pointing in opposite directions or if they are way off to one side, then it's gonna make it extremely hard to kick off in the direction that you want and follow that invisible line of delivery. Now also starting on that line of delivery is the rock. The rock is gonna be the first thing that moves forward on that line of delivery and your body is going to just follow in behind. So it's really important that that rock is starting on that line and that it moves straight back and straight forward. You don't want any sideways movement. So if you start with your rock way off to the side, then as you push forward into the delivery, that rock isn't gonna be on the correct line and subsequently neither is your body. Now, every single movement that you do should be on that invisible line that we talked about. During the take back, the rock comes straight back your sliding foot comes straight back, and then you park. The park position, it's like pulling a slingshot back. Depending on what angle you pull it back at, that's the direction that it's gonna shoot forward in. So make sure that your hips stay lined up and that they're coming back at that proper angle. As you push forward out of the hack, the rock is gonna be the first thing that moves forward on that invisible line of delivery, and then it's gonna be your sliding foot, and that's gonna come straight forward and then just settle in behind the rock you don't want any crazy sideways movements. That is what, well, that's really what throws you offline and off balance as well. That's, that's how you fall. So you want that sliding foot to come straight forward, settle in behind the rock, and then naturally everything's going in a straight line towards the broom. Your body is just going to follow in behind on that same line. So in summary, if someone were to be looking at your delivery from behind, they should be able to draw a line all the way from the skip's broom, all the way through the rock, through your body, all the way down to your toe, and then continuing all the way to the hack, and that should just be one nice straight line. I hope that helps, I hope that makes a little bit of sense. I've lost track of how many times I've used the word line of delivery and target in this video, but get out there, practice, even ask somebody to watch your delivery and give you feedback. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Curl Up With Jamie.